guys, I got requested by a follower how I do my liquid eyeliner. So I've been asked this loads of times and I never really thought much of it. I, I just, it's just years of practice, but she asked me to, to show. So I'm gonna give it a go, whether it goes well, we'll see, but I'll show you how I do it. So bear how I'm filming this. I'm not, again, as we all know, I have technical difficulty, difficulties in editing. So we'll see how it turns out. So I'm using NYX, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm using NYX eye primer, slapping on, I've already done my base. Blah, blah, blah. There's probably some makeup artists out there having like an absolute connery how I'm just doing this. I don't always do my base first, especially on a night out if I'm doing a lot more shadow. Because it drops everywhere. And I can't stand redoing my base, so just whack it on. I am not that particular only when it comes to my eyeliner. Shadow, I'm using a, a Bobbi Brown. It's a, an old one, literally. It's Sunday, so there's not much of an effort going on in here. Excuse the faces that I make. Something natural, really. Just so it looks nice. I'm just using a blending brush right now. Just chucking it on. Just a bit of in depth. And I just use another shade just to deepen the socket. You know, make me all Bambi like. I'm not being particular, I'm just slapping this on. And then I'll go over it with a blending brush. My base, like I said, is done. So let's hope it goes really well, otherwise, I'll have to redo it all again. Blending brush. Literally just over, bringing it out. Looks smooth. I find it odd that someone's asked me to do this because, you know, each of their own, it's their own business, how they want to wear the makeup. And, you know, people might think there's a right way or a wrong way, but this is just how I do it. So, I am using Bobbi Brown's liquid liner. I've used Laura Mercy ones. I love that one, the caviar pot. This one just came free. So I've been just using this and I've got on with it all right. So what I do, I start in, then out. Okay, again, another makeup artist somewhere is dying right now. You can do it that way. It depends how I'm feeling, how I want it to go. But I'm just going to do it this way to show you. So I literally just pop it on as close to the lash line as I can. I find it a lot harder to do when I've had my eyelashes um, lifted, like permed. Because you can't really move them up the way, then they're stuck. And then I just start working my way out. And I just follow the natural shape of my eye. So my one eye, this eye, is actually lower. The skin on the lid is lower, so it won't have the same. So I have to manipulate it in a way to make it even. Instead of going down and around, I have to go a little bit higher. Whereas this one, I can go down, around, and it just lifts. Whereas the other one, it's too low, so I would have one lower than the other. Oh, and that's the neighbor's dog. And I'm just going out with a flick. That's it. You may look effortless, but I get really arsy when it comes to my eyeliner, especially on this eye, because I always do one side like immaculate, and the other eye don't. So this one is my lower, lower lid. 
So I just check to see where my flick is. I never turn too much to do the flick because it will come in even I keep trying to keep my head straight. And I just bring it in. So this one, this flick is always thicker at the bottom because of where my eye drops, which is fine. I just make that a bit narrow at the top. And I just go back and adjust this one to try and pair it up the best that I can. Now if you need to use a cotton bed to adjust, do it. It's your business, no right or wrongs, it's just practice. Let me try and get as close to the lash line as possible. That's probably my son you can hear as well. Let's have a look. And that is literally what I do. Nothing spectacular. Uh, this has probably gone really well for me. This one has a base on right now. Um, you can, if you want to, go along and do some pencil to keep it as close to the t as tight to your waterline. And I've already curled my lashes, but if you're worried about your mascara, no your mascara, your eyeliner moving, wait till it dries. I always try and do X, like take the excess off the eyeliner because the the wetter it is, the longer it takes to dry, and the more smudging happens. Especially if you're prone to have a bit more watery eyes. And this again, Charlotte Tilbury mascara that I have free. Because my Bobbi Brown one went out. I use either Bobbi Brown or Charlotte Tilbury or Laura Mercier. This works out well. I'm not putting eyeshadow on the bottom, it's Sunday, so I just dress the girlies up. Down the bottom, you know, give them a bit of snazz. Gotta have a little something, something going on. And I have quite long eyelashes, so even if my flick was her not oh, well, horrendous, I can correct it with a cotton bed or whatever. Because mine are quite long, I can get away with any marks that could be left there that I don't really want to faff with, just in case. I hope you can see this, it's quite dark in this room, since we painted it blue. And natural lighting is not on my side today because it's raining. But hey -o. That is literally how I do it. I do try to do a bit more mascara on top because otherwise it looks like your eyelashes are naked with a big black line. And I feel, once I have this on, I can conquer the day. And it is a good liner, to be fair, even though I've had it for free, it is really good. I, I can train with it and it doesn't move, and that could be because of the primer, NYX primer that I use. Um, I only tried it, why did I try it? I think my mum had it. And she has really oily eyelids, so her makeup tends to move sometimes. And it was like stuck, so I thought that's great. I need that. So there you have it, that's how I do it. I hope you can see it. I hope I haven't moved too much and I'm out of shot. But this is how I just do my eyeliner. So try not to move your head and do it like that. Try and keep it straight to make it as even. Don't panic, it's called. Make it remover, cotton bed, start again. 
it's practice makes perfect. I started doing this when I was 14 and now I'm 30. So it's a lot of practice. But do it with confidence. I think the more you're confident about it, the better it looks. I think the more blasé as I've been, so like, oh, it needs to be perfect, it will be fine. So best of luck. I hope this helped. This is the most random ask I've had so far. Not a bad ask. I can do it. But yeah, have a good Sunday. And I hope this has helped. If I'm not, but it's just me talking about random bits of me doing my makeup.